Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another interesting tag video. So here I was tagged by my very good friend Antariksha and uh, I'm really glad to do this tag. <laughs> I like uh, doing tags where I'm being tagged by Antariksha, definitely, I'm just mentioning. And uh, she is another Indian YouTuber, you should go ahead and join her channel, join her family and uh, she is an amazing person like you should watch her review videos and the different kind of video she comes up i really learn a lot from her and really like her ideas and try doing something like her um, so she is like a mentor so you can imagine the kind of work she's doing on her channel so i will mention her channel's name in my description box so you can go ahead and join her and watch her videos and show her some love so enough of blabbering before that why don't you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my social handles so that you get notified uh, whatever i am doing in my life i'm not a very socializing person i would say I, I don't share a lot of my private things but at least you'll know what i'm doing with makeup that's the most important things here so enough of blabbering first question so first question is your first palette now undoubtedly i had a very nice answer for this this is my first ever palette i bought for 250 rupees from an instagrammer and this is how the palette looks like it's all matte shades because from start i knew that i am a person who loves matte shades and apparently this palette had only matte shades no shimmer shades so this is like the savannah colors naked palette and you know how much i love savannah colors palette so this is like the first ever palette i bought and after that i never stopped next question your most recent purchase so if you already have seen a lot of my hauls so since i'm filming this video today so i don't know when this video is going to go up because it depends when i edit this video so just for your info because it may happen that i post another haul video before this video and you see a different palette but since i'm filming it today so i'm going to tell you which palette is the most recent purchase i have it it's my double nintendo palette now i have not used this palette not even swatched it even once i'm planning to this is how the palette looks like uh, who cannot fall in love with these shades and specifically this particular shade is like calling my name like as if the shade was made for me <laughs> so this is like an amazing palette to at least on camera it looks fab and in person also it looks fab and this is like the recent purchase the last palette i picked up so that was from Colourpop. Next is, uh, sorry, next question. One, one you regret missing out on. It's a very simple answer. It's Modern Renaissance by ABH. I always plan to buy that palette. And for some or the other reason, I end up buying some other palette. So that is something which is like, I know I will buy it, but I don't know why I always miss it. So I miss having that palette. So definitely I will buy that palette sooner uh, since it's already late. So I never mind. It can be a little more later, but then that's the palette I'm missing on. Next question. One that makes you happy to look at. Now, yes, definitely this palette makes me happy when I look at it is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism palette. Now, uh, I, you, I have been using this palette now today's look also I'm wearing with this palette and I'm obsessed with this look also because I have worn this look at least three to four times outside and I like it it just gives me that nice look because it has a green so sorry this is how the palette looks like I've already done a wholesome review on this palette it's an amazing palette guys if you are you if you have any doubts to buy this palette i'm telling you, you can just blindly go ahead and buy this palette it's one of the best like i this is my first ever abh palette and i'm in love with it so i am just hoping to get more uh so definitely i will buy the um renaissance and the soft glam because i'm eyeing on both 
so i know next time when i buy i will buy both the palettes together that's my goal let's jump on to the next question so next question is uh one you have changed your mind about yes now there is this one palette i have changed my mind about is this palette by nyx this is nyx ultim nyx ultimate eyeshadow palette it has 16 shades this is how the palette looks like now it has the like you know this is the perfect brights palette for me but uh, when i bought this palette now i'll tell you the story why did i buy this palette when i was not a youtuber i saw malvika satlani's video where she used this palette to create her look and i was obsessed with her look uh, hands down she is amazing with her eye looks and the way she blends the eye shadow but then when i bought this palette and i try to create some looks but then i don't know Uh, maybe i'm doing it wrong or something or maybe there's something wrong with the shades or maybe i don't know how to mix in with the shades because i'm a person who likes more of a warmer palette so somewhat i didn't like that this palette that much later because if i use this palette with something else then it works really well but then if alone this palette it doesn't do much great to me because it doesn't have only mattes it has a little satin finish uh shadows also so it it just changed my mind so if you ask me i don't reach out for this palette a lot like it's like a way it's initially when i bought i was excited later part of the year i was like why did i buy this palette so this is the story behind this one this is the one which really changed my mind altogether next next question um one that surprised you now yes this brand surprised me and if you are following me you would have guessed it or i'll just tell you this is the brand for kelior now um now for kelior has come up really well now people know about this brand because when i bought this eye shadow and the products from this brand people were not aware of this brand so i'm really happy now everybody knows about it and you know people are like loving so i really loved this eye shadow palette specifically the mattes are so buttery so good like like when i was looking this brand i was like i don't know if it is really going to work or it is just uh, some random brand which is like floating in the market but i took a chance and i bought this and this really changed my mind so this really surprised me you know as a brand so this even the loose powder you know that's my ultimate favorite loose powder so this palette really like i'm telling you this one this shade and this particular shade like i can hit pan on so i've stopped using this palette for some time because i just dig into the shade like this is like my go to shade i'm just going to give you a swatch maybe of a shimmer that pigmented it is you can see how pigmented it is you don't need much but this is like a life like this is like a total surprise to me so if you are wondering to buy any palettes from this brand you should go ahead and buy don't think too much because they are really good next is uh, one that inspires you the most now there are many palettes which i look at and i feel yes this is a palette this is a different palette this is how it is supposed to be but there is one palette which whenever i look at this palette i feel this is something different i've ever seen in the longest time and i don't think so i will see anything closer to this is color pop yes please palette this is the most uh surprising or i would say most interesting palette to me because the shades in this are like knock on different broad spectrum and um, i cannot speak less about this palette but like you know if you want to buy any one palette from color pop i would say you should buy this one don't buy any buy this one it's like a it's like a collecting piece for me so this is how it is the shades all the shades in this are so well placed like i i would tell you in person if you see the palette you'll be like this is something unique you're seeing 
this is really different so i guess you should just go ahead and buy this palette because this is like an amazing palette and one of the most inspiring ones in my collection so just go and buy because this is only for 16 dollars the cheapest one <laughs> so this one is like the most inspiring one next question is one on your wish list the one which is on my wish list is like something out of expectations i feel or something which i will take years to buy is natasha denona's palette now i want to have her palette like i have seen so many good things so many good reviews so many good palettes whenever she launches something it's perfect it's good so I want to own at least one, even if I get that mini one which she has recently launched, I would buy that one. But then I that's on my wish list. I want to have a Natasha Denona's palette. Yes, there are many other brands, but this one is something like, you know, it's like a treasure you want to have it. So it's like that kind of a palette. And uh, which one I will buy, that I have not decided because there are so many good ones. So I have to really think over it like 5-10 days if I'm planning to buy. And then I will decide one and I'll buy it. Definitely I'm going to buy one, not 3-4 because that's out of my league palette. Like I have to really save up and buy that palette because it's very expensive. So that's, that, that's on my wish list. Apart from the one which I have missed on is my ABH one. So... This is like on my wish list. Last question is your no fail palette. Now, this is one palette which I think anybody buys or anybody use it will never be disappointed with is my chocolate wise palette. Now, this is the most, most, uh, I would say used out of perfect palette for anyone. Like a person like me who likes only warmer nudes or nudes is like who can go wrong with these shades like the mattes are perfect, the shimmers are perfect and I'll tell you in this whole palette there's not a single shade I'm disappointed with or doesn't like it. I have used like not a single shade is being left like unused on this palette like there are palettes when we miss on one or two shades but this palette i have never missed like i have used all the shades even this white one i've used it so you can imagine i i just love this palette so this one is like the perfect palette like if i have to go out for a longer vacation or anything and i have to pick up one palette i think this will be it because this has black browns peach um, cree shades shimmer shades brown shades anything to create a night look a day look so this is like the perfect no fail palette which has amazing pigment no kickback and even it even if a shadow has a little bit of kickback i like it that way because that's how i am i like to work out with my shadows rather just picking up the shadow and placing it i rather like blending them much better so this is one palette which I can vouch for. So if you have any second thoughts buying this one, you can just go ahead and buy this one. So this is like my no fail palette. So that was the last question. So there were total nine questions I answered. So I hope you all loved watching. Thank you Antariksha for tagging me. And I loved doing this one because I like doing these kind of interesting videos where i come to know about my own self also so i hope you loved watching so i'm not tagging anyone from my side any in specific uh, but there are some lovely friends of mine who would love to do this uh, uh, kind of a tag where you can share and talk more about your eyeshadow palettes and the thought process behind them so go ahead and continue with this tag and do let me know do tag me so that i know that you went ahead with it so that's it girls and if you like it give a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will mention everything in my description for your info so take care of yourself be happy and be positive